Hi everyone, welcome to the Vegan Lovely channel. Today we are presenting a curry recipe with uh, hikama. So we've already featured a couple of recipes before with this uh, root vegetable and I've talked more about it in these videos so you can go and check them out if you've uh, missed them. But today Kevin's going to present a Chinese style um, curry with uh, hikama and he's going to add his own personal touch to it. So let's get started. Despite the strong influence of Chinese cuisine in the food culture in Mauritius, Chinese style curries are not all that popular in the island. Menus at Chinese restaurants mostly offer dishes like chop suey, sweet and sour, dumplings and noodle soup, fried noodles or fried rice. Kevin and I were only introduced to Chinese curries while living abroad. In fact, Kevin grew really fond of these curries from a Chinese takeout he used to buy from in Dundee in Scotland. So in an attempt to recreate the memory of these curries, Kevin came up with something pretty tasty with a good balance of flavours and textures. We prefer the vegetables to be of medium sized pieces in this dish, but you can make them smaller to your liking. If you can't find hikama, you can substitute with water chestnuts. We are only using half of a large hikama in this recipe. Hikama is fairly easy to peel. Just lift the skin with a knife and pull it off. Hikama is probably less commonly used in curry recipes, but its juicy flesh, mildly sweet and nutty flavor, along with the fact that it stays crisp and picks up flavors nicely, make it an ideal vegetable to use in this recipe. You can cut the hikama into thick battens first, then cut across into slices of about 5 mm thick. We're using fresh pineapple but you may also use canned. By the way, you may want to check out one of our previous videos where we demonstrated how to peel and cut a pineapple. I'll leave the link in the description. Once all vegetables are prepared, start by immersing the soya chunks in some water in a small saucepan. Cover and bring to a gentle boil over medium temperature until the soya chunks are soft. This should take about 8 to 10 minutes. Meanwhile, let's stir fry the vegetables. In a wok on medium high temperature, add 1 tablespoon of coconut oil. Add the carrots followed by the hikama. Add a pinch of salt and saute for a few minutes. Add a drop of soy sauce or tamari, then add the green bell peppers. Continue to stir fry for about 30 seconds, then add the pineapple pieces followed by the onions. Stir and toss for another minute or two. Add about one more tablespoon of soy sauce or tamari. The tropical fruit flavors from the ripe pineapple combined with the soy sauce gives that umami flavor that will make your taste buds sing. It is quite reminiscent of fish sauce, but without the strong smell. You may add a little bit of ground black pepper to taste. Don't overcook the vegetables as they will continue to cook later in the sauce. Stir and remove the vegetables from the pan and set aside on a plate. By now, the soya chunks should be soft, so drain them before starting to saute them. In a cast iron pan, heat 1 tablespoon of coconut oil on medium high temperature. Add 1 tablespoon of minced ginger or ginger garlic paste. 
Let this sizzle for about 10 seconds, then add in the soy chunks. Add the cumin powder. You can cook the soy chunks in the same wok that we stir fried the vegetables, but we prefer to use a cast iron pan for this as it gives them a distinct flavor. Stir fry for about 2 minutes, then add about 1 tablespoon of soy sauce and continue to saute for a few minutes until the chunks pick up a slightly crispy layer. Remove from the pan and set aside on the same plate as the vegetables. Now it's time to make the curry gravy. In the same wok that we stir fried the vegetables, heat 1 tablespoon of coconut or vegetable oil on medium temperature. Add 1 teaspoon of minced ginger or ginger garlic paste. Add the curry powder. We are using a mild curry powder. Stir and roast for about 30 seconds, then add about half cup of water. Stir and mix properly. Let the sauce cook for about 1-2 to two minutes while stirring. Then add in the pre-cooked vegetables and soy chunks. Stir and mix the vegetables with the sauce. Then add about 1 quarter cup of water. Next, dilute the cornstarch or potato starch in about 3 quarter cup of water. Mix well so that the cornstarch is well dissolved. Add this mixture to the vegetables and stir immediately as the sauce will thicken pretty quickly. Add a little bit more water if required to adjust the consistency of the sauce. Then add a little more soy sauce to taste. Lastly, add the defrosted frozen peas and salt if needed. Stir and cook for 3 more minutes, then turn off the heat. Serve hot over rice or noodles. The characteristic of this Chinese curry is the starchy gravy base. The addition of soy sauce, hikama, pineapple and bell peppers creates a medley of textures as the flavors mingle in the gooey curry sauce to produce a unique combination. We hope you've enjoyed this recipe. As usual, you can find a printable version on our website. Check the description for the link. We wish everyone celebrating a very happy Chinese New Year. Until next time, have a great week!